Oh, by the way, here's my grandson's boots. <laughs> Got tiny they are. That's funny. So, on days like today, it kind of makes it iffy if you want to actually let your chickens out and the run. Which I realize, you know, there's a difference between meat chickens and laying chickens. Meat chickens. So, 12 weeks, you kill them anyway. The laying chickens take just so long to get them jokers up and laying. You want to make sure they stay healthy and lay for as long as they can. And chickens are really prone to respiratory disease, respiratory illness. So with it being damp and moist and drizzling and cold, it's kind of like my mama used to say. She used to always say, boy, when we're going out the door with your head wet with it cold like it is, you end up sick. I wouldn't listen. I go out my head wet in the morning, it'd be cold. Two days later, be sick as a dog. Same difference. I don't really want my chickens getting out in the chicken run with it raining and cold and end up catching some respiratory illness because if, if one of them does, they all gonna end up getting it. Getting that coop together, they'll all end up sick. So I, I'm just very iffy about letting my chickens out when it's cold and wet. I just soon keep them up in the coop. And, and I think the day will be all right. It's not too, too cold. It's like 34, I think. I don't know, I have to look. I think it's like 34. But uh, I'm gonna let them out today anyway. They should be fine. Let me let them crazy ducks out before they have a cow.
Well, how the baby rabbits are doing, you might want to know they're doing really good. <clears> oh, <throat> let me show you what it look like now. What y'all doing? Y'all waiting on some snacks? Is that what y'all waiting on? Snacks? Yeah. I see y'all waiting on snacks. Let's come down here and see if they'll come to the... There we go. Don't fall out now. Watch out. Watch out. Don't fall out. Don't fall out. Here they are. So, one with the snow, smudge on his nose. We're going to keep that one. The white one with the smudge on his nose. But the, uh, the cinnamon colored one is gone. They went ahead and picked that one up. By the way, we did go ahead and separate the mom, Mama Lily. There's Mama Lily now, she's in here. Now, poor Scooter, Daddy, he's still there. He's good to go. Scooter just chills, he don't care. He's like, whatever. That big deal or now. <laughs> Look at that. Hold on. <laughs> How you like that? Yep. Yeah. Getting back with his brothers and sisters. So one of the other things I was going to catch up on is uh, ducks. I mean, getting in and out of the where I had my uh, banana tree covered up. Look how much they've been packed down. So they're getting in there on the side and they pack it down. So I got to get some more hay and some more straw and cover that thing back up. Take the rest on winter. Whew. Little terrorist, I tell you. Here you are, right here, hold on. Tell you what, as far as those ducks, <clears throat> they're the best little insect, insect repellent. You can get, man, they get every insect out of this yard. You can possibly imagine, you can't beat it. I don't need to worry about insects in the yard. If they're out here, them ducks will get it. And if the chickens what's a boneheaded want to get in everybody else's yard, I could let them out, but nah. End up chasing one or two down a day in somebody else's yard. That was just too aggravating. So that's how they ended up in the uh, maximum security chicken run. <laughs> Didn't want to tell you, a friend of ours actually found a, uh, some more uh, oyster shells. Yeah. At another tractor supply in another town. She picked them up for us. By the way, thank you, Amy. Appreciate that. I've been looking for them things for months. <clears throat> so thankfully, Amy picked it up for me. So uh, that's out of the way. And uh, <clears throat> coops are all dry, which, by the way, it brings up another point with the uh, coops. I know I, I check them a lot, and I change their hay out a lot. If you get moisture and hay together, you're bound to build up mold. So I just soon keep them coops dry, keep them clean. And like I said, with uh, with the chickens especially, they just have so much pr problems with respiratory diseases that uh, I just don't want to take a chance. I just don't want to do it. But uh, garlic's coming along good. Carrots. Carrots are still doing good. Everything else is pretty much done for the, for the winter. So I'm hoping by spring we're gonna have a good good round of uh, garlic and a good round of carrots. So I guess we'll see, I don't know. But this morning I've got a uh, another batch of uh, apple cider vinegar to start. So I'll show you the apples in it. Um, again, there, uh, that friend of ours, Amy, she, uh, she's the one that Got the apples for us. Let me see where things are at. Here we go. So, let me start another batch of them up real quick.
All right, everybody settled for today. Just gonna do it out here today. Um, hope you enjoyed this episode. <clears throat> like I said, I'm gonna be getting over this mess I had and, and sick, trying to get over it. And I didn't want to try to keep you up to date when I can. <clears throat> but anyway, thank you all for watching. God bless each and every one of you. Please like and subscribe if you would. It would help. And uh, I hope I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.